Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to the Thrill of the Thrift. Today's video is, yes, another thrift haul video. However, this is going to be from two separate antique malls um, that I like to go to. And this is the first time I've been to them in quite a few months. Um, I wasn't able to spend a lot of time, so... I didn't get as much as I normally do when I go there. Um, but what I did get, I absolutely love, and I know you'll love it too. So let's get into this haul video. So first I will share with you um, what I got at um, the Sanborn Mill. And I spent $61.55. First, I got this beautiful art glass basket. I love the two-tone blue. And then the clear. And look how cool it looks from underneath. And then it has the leaves and the clear handle. Very, very pretty. I love that. I also got this amazing perfume bottle. Oh my word. I haven't washed it or anything, so I'm sure it sparkles beautifully. That is a beautiful piece. Trying to make room to put stuff. Well, I just found a screw, and I wonder where it came out of. Probably from my last haul video. Okay, I got this gorgeous, this is a Fenton uh, Blue Overlay Bowl. Oh, look at that. Is that not beautiful? Oh my goodness. I love this. I love it. No glow. Dang it. <laughs> so I loved this so much that I had to get this. Look at this beauty. Oh my word. Pretty sure this is also Fenton. It is not marked, but I'm pretty sure. Isn't that a beauty? Woo wee! Uh, yeah, that's that's definitely it's the same as the first one I showed you. It's the blue overlay. It's absolutely stunning. Um, and then I just got a few pieces of jewelry. This one's my favorite. Oh my sparkle. <laughs> oh, is that not gorgeous? Oh my gosh. Wee! That's a beauty. This one's really pretty as well. Isn't that pretty? love that. And then I got this. I thought that was pretty as well. There's no, uh, no markings on it. This one might be a bow jewels. I'm not sure. It's like made like theirs are. So I'm not sure. But so that's everything that I got at the, the Sanborn Mill. Like I said, I, I wasn't able to spend as much time as I would have liked because I had to come home because I had a sale. So I'll be going back shortly. Okay, now for the Sanborn Old General Store. I got some great stuff. Um, I got quite a few items from my friend Roberta's booth. Roberta and Teresa. 
Um, I can't remember everything that came from their booth, but I did get this gorgeous. Look at this compote. Isn't that a beauty? Now, I'm not sure uh, who makes this. Uh, it could be Fenton. It could be Northwood. Um, I really am, I don't know. I just know it's pretty. <laughs> This came from Roberta's booth. Look at this beautiful art glass bird. Isn't that pretty? And I believe you put a tea light in here. So I got that. <laughs> These are cute. These are made in Japan. Little mouse and cheese salt and pepper shakers. <laughs> Look how cute. Uh, this one has the stopper. This one does not, but I will replace the stopper. <laughs> That's a weird looking mouse though, I have to say. I don't know. <laughs> Um, I did get this Mexican pottery. It does not say Tanawa on it. It just says Mexico right there. Bird. Look how beautiful the colors are. Uh, let me see. I'm trying to take things out very gingerly. Okay. I'm going to save this other piece for last. Um, I was telling my friend, um, Tammy Christofferson, about this bird because she collects um, bird figurines. When she sees this, she's going to have a conniption fit. All right, let's do, I got this. I got a couple pieces of jewelry from there. Uh, oh, for crying out loud, can you just quit being so temperamental? I got this bracelet. And I got this pretty pin for fall. It's enamel. It's not marked. I just thought it was pretty for fall. Um, I also got, I sold one of these before to my girl, I think Linda Dickerhoff. This pretty little perfume. I call it a perfume bottle. It's not marked. I got this adorable little bud vase. Look how stinking cute. I'm pretty sure it's redware. <laughs> oh, that is absolutely adorable. This. This is oh my word look at this paperweight oh my gosh it says lead crystal Tabnaski, I don't know, made in Poland. Tablinak, I don't know. My mother would probably be able to pronounce it, but. Oh, it is just stunning. The camera does not do it justice by any means. 
I got this. This is Fenton. Isn't that stunning? I'm just gonna say, I just had my flashlight. Nope, no glow. Gorgeous. Now this. I got this from Roberta's booth, I believe. And look at that. is gorgeous wow holy moly <sighs> need a drink after that one <laughs> Oh my goodness. Come on now. Don't give me a hard time. All right. Then I got, I was thinking to myself in the one video that I could have sworn I got two of these. Well, I did, but it wasn't at the place I thought it was. It was at the old general store. I got these huge Fenton with the stickers, hobnail candle holders. Oh my gosh, they are absolutely gorgeous. Here's the other one. Still wrapped in the paper here. Can you see where that says Fenton? There it is. Mm-hmm. Those are gorgeous. I those are pretty large. They're, they have to be at least 10 inches tall. These are my favorite from Roberta's booth. I got this set of Westmoreland. Look at this with the um Mary McGregor. Now, it wasn't, they were painted by D. Etchenwade, 1979. It looks like Mary McGregor, but it is not. And they are signed, and they are absolutely stunning. Oh, my gosh. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, so I'm just going to set that over there. Let me put that over there out of my way. Um, I also got, and of course, because of the color, this is a party light candle globe. Wow. Isn't that gorgeous? It looks like Empoli glass. Wow. Amazing. That is a beautiful, and it's big. <laughs> Blow that out for now. <laughs> okay. Okay. The last item uh I cannot read. Let me get my where's my magnifying glass? I didn't bring it over here. Oh dang it all. I cannot read what that is. It looks like a K or something on the bottom, but look at this amazing parrot
Wow. That is a beauty. And it is big. Look at that. Be still your heart, Tammy. Oh, my word. So, I spent a lot. Uh, I spent, uh, where is the total on here? I spent over, let's see. I spent like $175. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of money. But for the stuff I got, I'll double that for sure. So sometimes you have to spend a little more money to make a better profit. So I did. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, antique mall uh, thrift, thrift haul. I certainly enjoyed shopping there. I always love going there. Uh, like I said, unfortunately, I didn't have a whole lot of time and I was kind of rushing. And I hate when I have to rush because when you rush, you miss things. But thankfully, I will be going back. And so, of course, you know that uh, I will share what I find. All right, everybody. On that note, I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.